with the great photographer, Les McGrath. Les, do you want to introduce yourself and tell people about what you do? Hello, everybody. I'm Les McGrath. And I've been an events photographer on the Whittle now for 10 years. So basically, any type of event, in fact, any type of photography. I love portrait photography, landscape photography, but my business is events photography, stuff like weddings, celebrations, parties, and quite a few charity events that I've done as well, which I, I really enjoyed. So basically, like a lot of other businesses have been adversely affected by COVID, basically it's wiped out what I do. So... Well, that, that's you know, one of your pictures behind you now, Les, isn't it? It is indeed, John. It's a picture that I took um, during one of my charity events that I am involved with, Charity Club, which also sadly has come to a, a halt now due to COVID. Um, but yeah, I, I, what I did, I mixed the, mixed the charity work, the volunteering, and also supplied photography for, for vision support, which is, is, was a really great thing too. Well, if it's because of all these changes that you uh, go through that you, you make contact with me and you've yes, done one of my three courses, which was maximizing your performance with clarity, which is all about building your confidence. Would you like to tell people about your uh, experience with regards to doing that free course, perhaps why you did it and what you got from it? Well, people who know me know that one of the things I do struggle with is confidence. It's when I'm, when I'm actually doing my work, no, I have every confidence. I'm not great at talking about what I can do and, and promoting myself. So it was a lack of confidence that made me get interested in your free course. And I found it very, very uh, helpful. Hopefully people will see that when they meet me face to face that it has improved my confidence. And I think it has. And um, also the aspect of it, which probably had the biggest effect on me was one of the things that we're going to talk about today, which is your idea of, of the vision board, with produce, producing of a vision board, which yeah. um, I, I, I found excellent. <laughs> You, you, you gave me a lot of feedback like that. I and mean, obviously that really resonated with you. There are five emails that come out over a period of five days. Each Correct. one has, um, a, 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 there's a particular task and, and a video, how to build your confidence. But what particularly resonated with you was, was the vision board. C can you explain Absolutely. that, please? I think it was because of, of my love for photography, you know, and, and having something visual, created by me i mean it, it could be any individual who creates it It just happens that photography is my love and my business so i found that i found constructing it was very sort of therapeutic and it helped me see all the positives that i've got in life in a world at the moment where the negatives are, are controlling us all and taking over us all and, and it was just it was just a really good thing and uh I enjoyed I enjoyed every aspect of making it, producing it, and um, I think it'd be a fabulous idea for people to to do likewise. I think really... I think that's true with what you said. Obviously, that resonated you <clears throat> because you're you're a photographer, so I can understand that. You you think a lot in in in, in, uh, in the way you see things, the way you visualize your interpretation of that visualization. So, so that really spoke to you on, on, on a certain kind of level. But you're right; you don't have to be a photographer. No, no. I think I, I, you could you could draw them. You could cut out um, uh, from uh, pictures from magazines. But a vision board. What it's essentially about, it's taking you from where you are today to where you would like to be. And it's about yeah. this constant reminder of positive things, as you said, within your life and the journey that, that's beginning to unfold in your life. And you're seeing this vision of bringing things together that are going to help deliver that for you. <clears throat> how, 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 how's, that, how's that working for you? Well, it's working well because... Like I say, the, pos the positive things in life are sometimes more difficult to see. Mm. You know, it's 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 easier to think, oh, you know, things are going terrible and there's nothing happening, and you know, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? But you know, the course taught me that you've got to you've got to concentrate on positives and going forwards. Going backwards is, is, is pointless or dwelling on the past. So you've got to 
it, it showed me that you've got to concentrate on going forward. Um, when we're in a better position, I want to be in a better position, if you know what I mean. I want to be, I don't want to be in a bad place because what I do, I need to be in a good place. And so how, how, how emotionally, how, how has that changed you? Well, it's just, it's it literally, corny as it may sound, it's just made me feel positive about the things that I've got in my life and things that I'm going to achieve in my life. For example, when I was, when I, before I'd be done photography, I was working for a major company uh, for 20 years. When, when I was made redundant, I could easily have thought, oh, you know, that's it now, like, you know, I've done me 20 years, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted something, I needed something else, and I wanted something else. I did never knew, thought it would be photography. I'd never been interested in photography. Mm-hmm. But it was something that happened through, through things came along. And I found that I had a love for it. And it's one of the, one of the things in my life that I love the most. I, I, I think it's amazing that it, when you go through those kind of changes and obviously after waiting for someone for 20 years, we may have done that, that in itself is, is, is a massive change. But I think um, if you sort of embrace the change and you start to walk down this corridor of change, doors and opportunities sort of open for you. You've obviously seen photography as a door and opportunity for you. But I was also interested to learn to say that you were, or to learn to say that you were saying, I enjoyed it, which I think that's, you know, if you enjoy something and you can put your time to something, you, you, you're going to yeah. get more out, not just financially, you're going to get a, a, an intrinsic reward from what Absolutely, you're doing, yeah. a, a feeling better, as you said, more, more positive. Mm-hmm. Well, I never ever think when I go to do a job of any sort in photography, oh, I've got to go to work. I never think, oh, you know, I've got to get, I, I'm, I'm buzzing, I love it. Uh, and I love entertaining people. So what I do in photography isn't just taking great images, hopefully, which which I do. It's providing entertainment and, you know, being being a, a positive person and, you know, an enjoyable person to deal with. And that's very important to me. Because, like, you know, you're, you're the other saying, the customer's always right. Well, I'm 100% behind. Anybody who's, anybody who's ever dealt with me will know that. I'll probably go too far. You know what I mean? I'll do, I'll do a customer who gives me the trust to photograph anything, the wedding or, or any event. It means so much to me that, you know, the financial side is nice, but it's also the enjoyment and the pleasure that it gives me that makes it, uh, you know, worthwhile doing. I, I, I think absolutely. Know. You're seeing the value in, in, in their enjoyment. So it's not Absolutely. really about the financial reward. I mean, we, I mean, money is a reality of life, but it's not oh, so yeah. much the financial world. What you're seeing is their enjoyment that they're get, that they're getting from your photography, which, which is yeah. which is absolutely brilliant. I, I'm very pleased that the course has given you that kind of positivity, and you feel yes. enabled to move forward. Because I think that's really very very important in your life and in everybody's life, because we are going through strange times at this moment in time. Les, if somebody wanted to make contact with you, how could they contact you? Well, the best way to probably contact me is through Facebook. That's where I do a lot of my stuff. So I've got um, Platinum Photography, that's my company name. So they could contact me on my Facebook page for Platinum Photography or just through my Les McGrath Facebook page. I also have a website. so. You can find that on my on my Facebook page. Um, Would you want to give us the name of your website? It's um, www.platinum-photography.co.uk, and I don't know why I remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Les, because I, I I mean that's something else. I mean, we're obviously at age with all this technology. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's been something for us to embrace because things are done so differently, and of course the, the pace of change. But you seem to be coping um, much better, Les, and that's really good to see. Um, right. to, to, just a reminder to people that the course is maximising your performance with clarity. It's a free course. I will put a link in the bottom of this uh, this interview here, and uh, other people that may want to seek the benefit that Les has got will be able to click on that. Les, thank you very much for your time today.
Thank you very much for your help, John, and I advise anybody to take this course. Thank you. Thank you so much.